Hello everyone, welcome to the Watchtower. I'm up here logging in for Modern Duty and today we are going to go over the Black Adam pre-order by Tweeterhead Statues. So we're going to do that right now. And I know what you're probably thinking, you're probably like, wait a minute, didn't Tweeterhead put a Black Adam statue up for pre-order last year? And yes, they did. Last March, actually, a year, you know, a year from now, year in the past from now, they put up this Black Adam statue right here. And they sold about 27, or not, they didn't sell, about 27 people pre-ordered this one. So, it didn't sell very well at all. They pulled it down. They said, we are going to bring this back up at a later date. We're going to tweak it a little bit. So, they recently put it back up, and, and with the re reworked designs, and we're going to go over those pictures right now, everyone. So, let's do that right now, and let's jump into that. All right, everyone. As you can see, these pictures look so much better than the previous version we got. There's so much more detail in everything in this piece. It looks absolutely amazing. Really well done. I was one of the ones that I actually pre-ordered the original one when it... When it went up, um, I like the original one, but this one, far and away, way better than the original. So this is the pictures we're looking at right now. This is the regular version. So the regular version comes with those clenched fists right there. With him with the clenched fist, you got that, you know, you got the lightning coming up around him on that, like, on, like, the rock with, like, the black smoke coming up around it and everything where he, like either just transformed or, um, well, he probably didn't transform because Black Adam really doesn't change it out of his shape. So probably just, you know, summoning the lightning to him. Very, very cool. He's got that kind of this like hovering effect like he usually does in the comics and everything where he's just kind of hovering there, showing so much power and everything. Such great detail. Um, yeah, this is miles away above the previous one. My worry is a little bit, though, because I ordered the other one because I thought it would pair really well with the Shazam one they released. Um, with a little bit less detail and everything. I'm a little worried how well this one is going to, um, going to pair with the Shazam. I wonder if they're going to do an updated Shazam. I doubt it because the, this one didn't sell real well. So I doubt they'll do an updated one, but I mean they might if this one, if this one, if this new one for Black Adam comes out and it's got really good sales numbers, uh, they might do an updated Shazam to go with it. And the other problem is that this Black Adam is going to measure 21 inches tall. The Shazam is 16, so it's going to be five inches taller than the Shazam. So if you want them to be level you're gonna have to get a riser or something for shazam but you know that's a problem for another day and everything right now i'm absolutely loving the look of this one i actually they let you um if you order the other one they let you transfer your po over to the new one so i already sent them an email and everything saying hey i love this new one i want to transfer my po and everything so that's what we're going to do with that one we're transferring the po to this new one and so that, this is the regular version right here with the clenched, clenched fist. If you get the exclusive that is only available through Tweeterhead and they will have a limited allotment available on Sideshow the day it goes up, you get this the clenched fist hands. So the exclusive comes with both the clenched fist and the open hands. The regular comes with just the clenched fist it doesn't come with the open hands so really cool different display options there i would have liked the original exclusive for the previous one they were going to release had the shouting portrait i really would have left if liked if they would have left that one as the exclusive because i really like the idea of that shouting portrait but you know the exclusive still it's still nice just it really just changes i think that with the display of the different hands kind of changes um, kind of like where he's at with the open hands. He's kind of just like, like some of the lightning to him with the clenched hands. It's more just like, he's just like angry and just ready to tear into someone. So both cool little options. I don't know how much it's going to change the display overall, you know, between the two different hands, the shouting, the different heads would have really changed the display, but you know, that's something we'll know more once we get it in hand and everything.
All right, everyone. So that was the pictures. And like I said, they look amazing. I think this is going to be a, a, a great selling piece for Tweeter Head. I think they just continue to raise the bar and just knock it out of the park. This, the guy who sculpted this Black Adam is the same guy who sculpted their new Superman for him, which always that Superman looks awesome. This Black Adam looks awesome. Really, really great. This Black Adam is going to retail for $350. That's going to be the same price for the regular and the exclusive. If you order from Tweeterhead, you get $25 off if you pay in full right when, right when it comes out for pre-order. If you pay a full amount off, you get $25 off. If you order from Sideshow, Sideshow is going to be selling the regular edition. And they're also going to have a limited allotment of the exclusive. They charge $25 more for the exclusive through Sideshow. I don't know why they do that um, when, when, when Tweeterhead is offering both at the same price, but they can kind of set their own prices a little bit, I guess. So they're charging $25 more for the exclusive compared to the regular through Sideshow. So like I said, this is going to be $350. This guy is 21 inches tall. Tall doesn't look like the don't know about the width or the depth doesn't look like a very big footprint that way, but it is you know it is a, quite a tall piece, and it goes up for pre-order this Thursday, March twenty fifth. All right, guys. So if you are interested in this piece, do not wait around at at noon Pacific Standard Time. This goes up for pre-order on March twenty fifth. Jump on there, pick this guy up because this might sell out really fast if the Superman is any any indication which that sold out in one day. So this might be the same situation. So jump on there, guys, and get this. Um, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you the next time that I log in for Mario Duty up here in the Watchtower, and happy collecting, everyone.